The Downfall of a Belly Dancer Belly Dancing and Beyond Book Two Written by Kerry Knorr Narrated by Nano Nagel Just a thought. When one door closes, another opens, so the saying goes. When one door closes, another slams in your face, so the joke goes. Nefertiti, however, never waited for the door to open. She barged in, uninvited, until she met the co-op bag lady. Chapter 1. The Shed The time for realising your potential often slips by unnoticed. My Roger is building a shed, I said, but no one was listening. Not one even looked at me. They were all engrossed, hell-bent on trying to look like King Tut concubines. Except, of course, for Mavis. She was pulling faces in the mirror like a seventeen-year-old attempting his first shave. She had new false eyelashes and was under the impression that it would take years off a face that had been around the block and back again. Mavis is the oldest in the sisterhood, my belly-dancing troupe, who, along with the others, was trying on outfits for my latest sisterhood extravagance, oblivious to the cold and me, their mentor. "'Roger is erecting something, and it's not making me happy!' I shouted. That shut them up, all three of them. They stopped, looked up, and stared at me like I'd taken my bra off and revealed three breasts. No one said anything. We all stared at each other, until a finger symbol rolled from the table and clanged onto the floor. Then it started. The jokes about erecting just like I knew it would. My troop has never needed any encouragement when it came to innuendos. My troop, the sisterhood, has entertained and shimmied all over the Scottish Highlands with an earthiness that has been talked about in all the local papers. We were women of a certain age, who wore sequins over our curves and glittered up our wrinkles for all to see. Nothing stopped us. No poorly lit photograph in the local paper or half-asleep pensioner snoring in the back of the row. We danced come rain, hail or shine. We were women, proud of every curve, every shake and every step. Belly dancing is more than a dance. It's a celebration. It keeps things oiled, lubricated and ready for anything. It is better than any HRT or antidepressant, and fabulous when one is celibate. I mean, no woman is past her sober. Sample complete. Ready to continue?